Yeah, yeah, check one, two, check one, two. Is this mic on? Is this mic on? Hey, listen, man. It's the one and only Trent set of DJ Sense, and you're listening to Cocktails. Dirty Discussions with Kiki and Medina Monroe. Yeah. Today's cocktail has a bunch of ingredients, and some of them I don't know how to pronounce, but it is called... I don't remember what the fuck happened. This is what you're going to need. One and a half ounces of Puerto Rican, Puerto Rican golden rum. One and a half ounces of Jamaican rum. One ounce of Demira Ra 151 rum. A half ounce of Don's mix of grapefruit juice and cinnamon syrup. A half of velvet valernum. Three fourth ounces of lime juice, a fourth ounce of grenadine, two dashes of absinthe, Mm-mm. and one dash of bitters. And you're gonna make this by mixing all the ingredients in a shaker with ice, pour into a tiki mug, but do a cocktail glass filled with crushed ice and ha- enjoy an I don't fucking remember what happened. I bet you won't remember with what the absinthe. fucking absinthe. I'll never forget when I was in high school, I worked at Sonic. And my crackhead ass boss had a family member who had gone somewhere where they sell it or make it. I don't know. He brought that shit back and he was telling us about it. And that was back when I didn't drink. Believe it or not, guys, there was a time I didn't drink. And everybody was fucked up that drank it. I didn't have any. I, I never had it. actually never had absinthe either. I remember we went to Miami one weekend, me, Hannah, and some other girlfriends. And Hannah was like, they had it someplace. She's like, I'm going to have it. The woman explained what could happen on absinthe. And I was like, I think what I'm good. What can happen? You just I hallucinate forget. a okay, lot. Okay, that's what I thought. You, and Hannah was crawling on the ground. She, she didn't make it out. I was like, I'm glad I ain't take that shit. But today I might. Shoot. Okay, well, welcome back to Cocktail Story Discussions. <laughs> you talking about hallucinating. <laughs> Girl, what's up, Was y'all? it a stressful week? I just feel like I just, lately I've been needing strong drinks. I mean, I mean, that's usually how I feel, so I'm not judging. I'm just surprised to hear you say that. <laughs> I want a little absinthe. Mike, try it. Um, what so, you been up to? Not really, not that much. Just saw you yesterday? Yeah, just saw you yesterday. Uh, my mom confirmed that she will be here. And this she's, weekend, not this weekend. It's in a couple of weeks. Mm-hmm. Um, there's some sort of some for nasty ass books for middle aged women. And she's going and she's invited me and my aunt. She wants us to go with her. So I'm going to go. I'll tell you guys how it is. I don't really know what to expect. But I say, you know, I kind of want to be surprised. Mm-hmm. So I didn't really do any research about it. I just know all of the writers are, um, I think they're all women. Mm-hmm. Not 100% sure. But um, they all write romance novels. But typically romance novels are not romance. They're more erotica, if anything else. I love it. So I think it'll be cool to meet some people who write the books and then meet people who really enjoy those books. And, of course, I'll be there pubbing us. I wonder, like, what the age range is. I think it's gonna be 35 plus but we'll see I don't know I don't know it's at Cobb Gallery so um, I think they still have tickets available you do have to buy tickets they're online somewhere maybe I'll post it tomorrow will be there that's not like a man thing um I don't know I mean some of the writers are men so I don't know if maybe they'll have um, like just in the books that she's told me about that she'll recommend every now and then there's a male writer so I don't know if they might have some of them there Maybe some people drag their husbands. I don't know. Mm. I doubt it. Mm. I feel like it's going to be mostly women. It is. I don't it know. It definitely is. But, you know, I like I like events like that. It's cool to be around a lot of women who are into the same things because it's always cool to see, like, what do these people look like? What are they, like, what is the normal stuff that they do? Because I feel like people's everyday lives are so different, mm-hmm. but sex connects a lot of people. Doesn't it? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So what have you been up to? You know, just the same old thing. Running around here trying to get these niggas to give me some money. I'm just playing. That's not what I be doing. (laughs) (laughs) Niggas Niggas can't wait to be like, you got your couch yet? No, but a girl has just been working and trying to make some dreams come true. Well, I feel you on that. Um, Yes, cheers. So this week we do have a guest, but before um, we get to our guest, I'm going to talk to you guys about weird sex. You said a man is not a necessity, a man is a luxury. Like dessert. (laughs) Yeah. A man is absolutely not a necessity. Did you mean that to sound mean and bitter? Oh, not at all. 
I adore dessert. I love men. I think men are the coolest. But you don't really need them to live. So this story is about a man right here in Georgia. Yay. A-Town. What's up? Well, not A-Town, but Georgia. Um, Richmond County. So that's Augusta area. Let me tell y'all what he did. So this Georgia man was arrested for indecent exposure after he was caught running around in nothing but a turban and some high heels. Um, the people, the deputies in Richmond County confronted Jermaine. Was yes, he he's black? yes, he's like Jermaine Lloyd, twenty eight. This was a few Jermaine. years ago. He's much older now, but his name is Jermaine. He was hiding behind a tree, and at the time, he was trying to put on a pair of pink panties. He drank some absinthe. He did a lot of things. So he ran from the scene but was apprehended a short time after. And during the failed flea attempt, he dropped a purple crown royal bag. This is just so black. (laughs) He dropped a purple crown royal bag that contained cocaine and marijuana. This sounds like a movie. Um, Though he was only wearing the um, aforementioned high heels and turban, he was also carrying a pair of sweatpants. That must have been what he changed out of. And then this isn't the only time he's been arrested. Um, the week before this happened um, he was without clothes and they pulled him over and he didn't have no clothes on he jumped a curb at a shopping center Jermaine Jermaine is going through some things when the officers told him he was under arrest for a DUI do y'all know he ran away and he escaped Sometimes when you're on drugs, you get super human strength. Um, but they found the cocaine and marijuana while they were preparing uh, the vehicle for towing. And between both incidents, he's been charged with um, public indecency, two counts of obstruction of law enforcement, um, of a law enforcement officer, possession of cocaine with the intent to distribute. Damn, how much coke did he have? Possession of cocaine, two counts of Uh, possession of marijuana driving under the influence and to top it off failure to maintain lane he's he was being held for twelve thousand six hundred and forty dollars for bond he got out um i mean he probably served a time this was years ago but i just found the story i wanted to find something that was in georgia people are crazy like you're gonna get high fucked up put on some pumps try to put your panties on and a turban and walk around like you're in the new season of pose i just when stuff like that happens, I always wonder, like, if it was on the news or people watching the news, like, that is not Jermaine. Look at Jermaine. Like, Jermaine, Imagine what happened? Imagine that was your brother. Yeah. Like, he got high. That's what happened. I wonder what he thinks now. Like, is he just a full-blown crackhead or is he? did he get his life together and does he listen to this story and be like, God damn. He probably didn't get his life together, but he's probably still getting high. He's probably um, ran out of money. He might be a crackhead by now. He had Coke at first, but, you know, Coke is a little bit more expensive. So he might have had to do what people do when they run out of coins. And that's it for Weird Sex. If y'all see anything crazy in the news, doesn't matter, new or old, send it to me and I'll tell the rest of the people all about it um, we have a guest and her name is mina she has her own podcast the mina b podcast hey hey girl hey girl hey before y'all really get to meet her we're gonna play a little game because mm-hmm. we like to loosen our guest up if you not already loose i'm really well i am feeling a little loose because we just took them she orgasms like they were ecstasy <laughs> <laughs> we took a toast we and did. was like cheers mm-hmm. yeah. with some tequila that medina heavy-handedly poured <laughs> <laughs> so y'all Mina sometimes we like to play this game we don't play it often because because you gotta think about stuff but um, <laughs> it's called what's your price so basically oh, we'll shit. give you some little scenarios or like something sexual or nasty just sometimes they're really nasty and you tell us how much you would charge to do this and be honest okay and if I'm you done. have done it for shit. free just let us know I'll let y'all know <laughs> so <laughs> free. you wanna go first Key? okay so the first one I have is someone wants to take you on a vacation for a first date what's your price and are you dropping the draws oh that's a nice one that's a real good one so you um, don't even have to say I mean maybe you require just like a down payment or maybe you just want to go to a place but you pick I'm gonna be honest I need a down payment because I'm gonna be like I need bikinis I need this I need that so mm-hmm. I'm gonna need a down payment first how uh, much is the down payment uh, say a calm 800 to 1000 okay and where are y'all going we're going to St. Bart's 
Okay, you've thought about you this. You already Because she said that so quick. We're going to St. Mark's. Like, like, she's actually going tomorrow. I actually looked at the flights yesterday, so. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm about to hit a nigga up and send him my cash app. What's up, cash You ever just send a nigga your cash app? I have. Yeah. I want to do that so bad. Oh, try it. Oh, no, try it. You'll see what you, you can. You just never know you what'll happen. Know. You might get a nice surprise. Huh. Mm-hmm. Huh. Okay, the next one. What's your price to fart in your mouth? <laughs> that. Um, I think you're gonna have, bro. Like, I need like, <laughs> damn, like I need three months rent, bro. Like, that's nice for him to fart in her mouth. Yeah. or her to fart in his mouth. No, for him to fart, fart in her in mouth. mouth. Oh, okay, I need three thousand dollars. Just okay. about, yeah. Yeah, that's just fart. About. That's fart. That's so gross. Okay, <laughs> um, someone needs you to come to the family Fourth of July barbecue, and um, they need you to be a beard. You oh, know what a beard oh, is, right? Okay, so <laughs> it's complete with PDA okay. and fabricated memories. So, what's your price? My price, because more than likely it'd be a gay friend. Mm-hmm. Um, just pay my phone bill for six months. I like how you just like say the bill and then like the time frame. Like that's mm-hmm. six months of a phone bill. Yeah, that's a good. Because if it's already a friend, now if it was a stranger, more. Oh yeah, like, it'd be more. Mm-hmm. It'd be more. But if it's a friend, this is. I mean, I, I think I've. Does yeah. he need to give you the money up front? No. Mm-mm. Oh, you're trustworthy because I need it. <laughs> just what if he's like, well, I'm if having a, a hard fr- month. If, it, if it's a friend, no. But if I don't know you, yeah, up front. What's up? Yeah. What's up? <laughs> okay, so you meet a guy. <laughs> he wants you to have a threesome with him. You're totally game. You're going to do it. And then he tells you it's with his pregnant wife. Oh and he God. wants you to also drink a little bit of her breast milk. Right. Uh, I'm. Oh, my God. Um. Oh. <laughs> On an average, I'd probably say hell to the motherfucking nah. <laughs> but he's like, "What's your price?" He'll pay you anything. Can I get twenty k? Yeah, he gonna get. I, mean, I, he need 20K. I, I need twenty k. He gonna be like, "My baby needs milk and diapers." All right, we can 20. do. All right, so we can negotiate. I'm from New York. Fifteen k. Would you 1500. have a threesome? With a and I, woman? we'd split it half half. We could do two payments. Fifteen hundred k. You're nice. 100. Two payments. Two payments. Yeah. 15K. I'm not doing payment plans on my pussy. Give me my motherfucking Okay, if you get the whole naked. thing right now, I need the whole thing up front. You know what I mean? Yeah. I would have a threesome with a pregnant woman probably. Oh, but how pregnant Depends though? How, yeah, I was <laughs> going to say how pregnant. That bitch is showing. She's six You can be seven showing, months. but some people carry small, some people carry yeah, big. Yeah, this is true. Let's and say then, seven months. But is she big? She's big. Like, she's not big and floppy. She just has a I know a, what you mean, like a belly. stomach. Yeah, it's hard. That's too, I would be nervous. Kicking. It's not even because her stomach is big, but I would just be so nervous that with your stomach spreading like that, I feel like your skin is probably a little thinner. thinner. Everything's mm-hmm. more tender. I don't want to accidentally, like, I'm clumsy sometimes. I don't want to bump you the wrong way or fall on you the wrong way and damage your baby. Like, that's a whole life. No, I no. can't do it that far. Well, it's got to be a small. Like a little bump. I would love to have a pregnant woman on the show that, like, still actively has threesomes. Oh, oh my God. That would be so... I just want to know, like... Would you have a threesome if you were pregnant? Mm -mm, And you were already having threesomes with your partner? Like, before I was pregnant, I was already having... I don't think I would. No. No. Just because Uh -uh. it's just... I'm already putting myself at risk. Now, the baby. Right. Mm Mm-hmm. And what are you going to be like when he come out? Baby Or she. Ain't even coming out with no bumps on his face or head. (laughs) Like... No, I wouldn't. But right if we pop that baby, what's up? What's Doctor that? say I'm good. What we doing, baby? Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, my last one is your man of uh, about a year is really into watching people have sex. So he wants you to fuck his best friend who is less than desirable in the physical department. Um, what's your price? Damn he, I, of course, wants to watch. He wants to watch me you fuck, fuck his, his ugly best ass friend. Mm-hmm. Well, he's not ugly ass friend. He's just not Fine. desirable. He ugly. Um, he could be regular. <laughs> you know, he just not like, you don't look at him like, damn, I want to fuck. You just look at him like, okay. I think, <laughs> I mean, since this is my man and there's love and affection there, I mean, he probably already paying for shit, honestly. Um, real talk. Um, I'd probably be like, babe, um, for me fucking your friend, I need three trips this year. Mm. All inclusive, must be paid up front, like everything done. I don't have to worry about anything as far as like clothing, money to go. And out of the three trips, one of them you can go to. The other two, my friends are going. 
girl the, trip. And that's the and end. you paid for it. Do you already have the destinations like you did saying? Okay, so yeah, Saint Tropez. Mm -hmm. I want to go to Spain so bad. So that's a part of that. I want to um, go to Spain too. Oh, I want a Paris trip. So I probably would go with him so that we can buy all the duty free Gucci and Louis Vuitton and all that. <laughs> you have really stuff. thought about this. Oh, I thought about it. Um, <laughs> and third, I want to go back to Montego Bay. So mm -hmm. yeah. Tell me my bitches to Montego Bay. What's up? <laughs> like, what's up? Okay, here's my last one. You meet a guy out and he is fine. Whatever your definition of fine is, that's what that nigga is. Okay. He asks you if you want to come back to his place for a nightcap. You say yes before he even finishes the sentence. Thirsty. When you get back to his place, his dad is there and he wants all of y'all to have a threesome. How much? <laughs> Is his daddy fine? His daddy is fine. His daddy fine, bitch. But it's still Damn, his daddy. I still want this coin though. All right then. So <laughs> I think oh, God, I gotta fuck his daddy too. So I want ten thousand from his dad. I want ten thousand from him. That's smart. Could you imagine if you got pregnant and you don't even know who and the you baby don't even is? No, if it's his daddy it's that. or that nigga. And then, but then it's weird because. Oh, and then God. if you have the baby, you're like, bitch. The baby is your stepdaddy. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, we. That could be crazy. Oh, that's, oh my that goodness. Fun. Yeah, I that's about that. Well, yeah, I want 10K each because, yeah, both and both of y'all. Could you imagine if somebody was like, okay? Because sometimes, <laughs> sometimes when people ask questions like this, it's like, I'm going to say an outlandish number because it's probably not no. going to happen, right? Right. But what if they say, yeah, and then it's like. And, and they're like, here's the cash uh, right here. What's up? Girl, and I, it's that real cash. I just pray that I'm drunk and I have some she orgasms. You gotta because, be. Bitch, that's the only way. It's I hope go everybody's down. drunk, so hopefully <laughs> they forget. Just like I want to forget, but I probably right. never would. <sighs> okay. Ooh. Anyway, so Mina B has her own podcast. What is your show about? So the Mina B podcast is essentially just my personality. I talk about everything. Mm -hmm. and I talk about these hoes and these niggas, but also um, I advocate for women. I really like to talk about the things that bother us, the things that we're not willing to talk about. Like, Normally. for instance, <laughs> a corny dude. Like, hey, how you can date a corny dude and make it work for you. Mm -hmm. Don't look at it like, oh, he's super corny or whatever. And then also the corny shit that niggas do mm -hmm. that they're like, okay, no, nigga, you're corny. That's unacceptable. I'm not, I'm not willing to work with that. Mm -hmm. So there's just been certain topics that I've talked about and situation. And Medina has been on the show as well. We talked about relationships and just kind of giving women some type of encouragement to just like not be afraid. I think that we're at a time right now where it's about us. Yeah. It's about women, yeah. uh, us uplifting each other and doing the right things and not, not so much the right things, but just doing the things that, you know, make us happy. So why settle for bullshit? What does the mm -hmm. B stand for? My last name. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, but you might not want to yeah, no, get no, I Yeah, I ain't getting no government. But um, my friends used to call me Mina B when I was growing up and stuff like that. So that just kind of stuck. I used to love this show when I was a little kid. And it was called Maya the B. Do y'all remember that? Maya, mm -hmm. Maya the B. I don't think I've ever I've seen that I've never show. heard of that. Really? <laughs> What did they come on? Where? I can't remember. I was little, was little, but like I just PBS? remember. Maya, like Maya, Maya the Bee. And she was oh, a little shit. bee. <laughs> Don't nobody remember Maya the motherfucking Damn, bee. I've sorry, I've never sis. seen that. I've never seen sorry, that word. Well, now I'm going to look it up on YouTube you and try and see it. what it is. So, Mina, what type of sex do you like? Um, I like a little nasty. Be detailed. What's nasty to you? You see, y'all. <laughs> because <laughs> sometimes else? people say nasty. <laughs> and like, it's just a sloppy you know, kiss. You know, or it's right. like real, real nasty. No, no, no. It's like, bitch, I never even I thought of say, that. I got a man with them hooks in his booty. I, I just, yeah. I just, you see, I ain't doing booty play, but um, and it's been a minute, honestly speaking. I'm like not fucking right since now. Since you've had sex, or yeah. since you had something in your booty? <laughs> no, I haven't had sex. Nothing in my booty. I haven't. How wait? Pause. There. <laughs> How long has it been since you've had sex? February. June. It's June. Yeah. Is this is is is, is this my choice or are it's, you going I, I, Honestly, I've been seeing somebody and he's been depriving me, and it's so funny because Wait, I only what? is he religious. He's not religious. This nigga's just not doing what he need to do, and I think I'm so busy that I just don't like. But when you say depriving, it? are you saying he was like, you're not getting none of this? No, oh, no, no, no. It wasn't like verbalized, but like we try to like sneak time in and do stuff and it just hasn't been working, especially like, like his dick doesn't work or the time doesn't work? Time doesn't work. Oh. This you dick works fine. clear with us. Yeah. <laughs> dick, we'll take it there. Right, y'all take it there. My mind now, is all dick, over the place like, dick oh, is fine. erectile dysfunction, so how do you deal dick with that? Dick is fine, but then honestly speaking, like I want to talk to somebody else, but I'm like, yeah, I don't really want to have sex with anybody else. I haven't been in the mood. Mm -hmm. I haven't met At somebody all? that. You're going to be in the mood tonight. Girl, well, listen, 
<laughs> Masturbation has been a great thing, but okay, um, yes. you know, I'll toys have been that. wonderful. But other than that, like, <sighs> have y'all ever felt awkward? And I'm saying this because this happened to me recently. Have you ever? Have y'all ever had sex, first of all, with the guy? Have you had sex with him before? Yes. Okay. So it has to be with someone you've had sex with before. And let's say one night y'all are hanging out and you let him come up and y'all have had a couple drinks, maybe something else. And <laughs> you actually aren't in the mood to have sex. And you kind of, now that we're older, I'm okay verbalizing that. I used to be like, I'm just going to do it. But now I'm like, well, no, like I kind of just want to go to sleep and I want you to go home. Are y'all comfortable doing yeah, that? Absolutely. But I'm comfortable doing it because I'll do it. But I feel kind of weird when I, like when I did that, I felt I don't know. I felt bad because he was like, are you serious? And I was like, <laughs> I'm I just don't want to have sex. I'm not in the mood. I've, I'm not. When it's been laid out like what you just said, I don't think I've ever said it. What usually happens is if we are drinking, my ass is going to get tired mm -hmm. and I'm just going to end up falling asleep. So he's going to know. Well, you know, like when they're, when you're fooling around and you want it to stop because you know oh, you don't want it to leave. No. I, I had to say something because I thought that I could Wait. just lie and be like, I'm on my period. And that didn't work. Nah, what I just say mean? I don't want to do it. Like you, like you let him kissing, come up. You're kissing. Maybe, you start okay. going on, but you already know in your mind you don't want to have the sex. Yeah, I've been there, and no. I've been like, "Nah, we're good. We're just we're chilling tonight." Honestly, mm -hmm. usually I cut it off before it gets to that point because like I'm That's pretty smart easy. That, that is smart. That is smart. So I'll like, say that. if you kiss me and you get me warmed up, and I'm already drinking, that's what. Yeah, I'm fucking. Um, yeah. So <laughs> that has a, and you know easy. niggas will be like easy. Nick and I don't think people think that, but it's like, you know, if I'm already like, if I look at you and I'm like, I would fuck him, mm -hmm. it, I probably shouldn't have said this, but it's not going to take much. <laughs> you know, it's just like when I'm not really like that into it at first, it's going to take more work yeah. for you to get me warmed up. But if I'm already warmed up before you even say anything... And you know niggas too. <laughs> niggas love ready. to say. Niggas love to say. Oh well, let me just eat it, nigga. No, because if I know, eat, I've learned if you that eat lesson. the pussy, I'm gonna want to fuck you. The I'm gonna, you know, come on. I just don't want to fuck, and that's it. The only time I've been okay with somebody being like, let me just eat it. It's like, and I'm fighting it off. It's really not even. I don't want you to eat it. I will let you eat it, but it's usually because I need a wax, and so it's like. I don't want you to eat it, so I'm fighting you for that, and you're trying to like so work I'm gonna let me you down. Go this jungle. But then once you go to the <laughs> jungle, if you cool with it, well, I'm gonna let you dive in unless I fall asleep. Oh, I'm about to die. Yeah, I'm pretty easy. Go in. ahead. Because <laughs> y'all look at me like, damn, no, I'm, I'm sad. like, no. I rarely do that. I don't that. feel nah. like it, but I get it. Like if you're not in the mood, I think you should be able to say that. But I could imagine how it it's, would be awkward. It is awkward. It is and awkward. uncomfortable. It was awkward. It was uncomfortable. And I was just like trying to have the conversation. Like, you don't know what I'm going through. What if so I'm just what really say, tired? And when that happened, he was just like, all right, I'm going home. And I was like, all right, bye. Yeah. I was like, I'll walk you down. I might have wanted to cuddle. Sometimes I do like to cuddle, though. Yeah. And then you say that and say, babe, you know, I just wanted to relax. I just wanted to cuddle. And if he can't respect that, then, I've been having honestly. a sex podcast. I'm realizing now, like, Niggas really think that we just be ready to do some nasty shit all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they do. And I'm like, you don't even listen, nigga. Because if you listen, <laughs> you have a little bit more insight into who I Hi. really am. You're making assumptions. That annoys right. me. And like, why y'all only listen to that part? Why don't y'all listen to the cash app parts? And the okay. couch parts. And the couch and parts. The right. Parts. Right. Like, and we want vacation. And yeah. my, my laptop needs to be fixed. What the fuck happened to that part? Yeah. You know. Somebody like, hit me up about how to get you. And I I laid it out plain and simple, Key. If he wait, comes I'm right. I'm curious. I'm curious. What did you say? I'm not telling you. Because I don't oh, know no. if that nigga does it. You better know if he does it. I want to know if that nigga does it. I laid it it's out. It's so funny because somebody hit me up and was like, somebody. <laughs> I wonder if it's the same person. But somebody was interested. And I was like, well, listen, here's the deal. I don't know what his problem is. He'll give me hints like, oh, I texted you last night. It's that nigga. Okay. He texted me last night. And I was asleep or something. I was busy. And I didn't text back until the next day. And he was like, oh, it's probably good that you didn't respond because I was about to. And then he sends a gif of I was about to shoot my shot. And it's just like, okay. That's but you didn't. Boring. So then to me, it's exactly. like. like Why couldn't it's you? To me, it's like, okay, well, like, were you drunk trying to shoot your shot because you just wanted to fuck? Or are mm -hmm. you genuinely interested and you needed the liquid courage? But I don't know. And I'm not going to bait it out of you. At all. Because... I'm playing with babies right now, and they're climbing in my hair and <laughs> fucking up my toenails and stuff. Like, I'm busy. Yeah. And I just, I can't figure that out. But I, that's confusing to me. But um, it's funny because I was doing this application for this thing today, and it was asking questions about a dating life. Mm-hmm. 
it was for a job and um it was asking about my dating life and stuff and it was like what would people say is the easiest way to get your attention i was curious it's funny that you said that but you won't tell me so oh well <laughs> <laughs> i guess we'll find out later probably never Next because time on this cocktails. nigga does not know how to shoot a shot i'm sick of coaching these niggas girl. mina what type of porn do you watch girl and girl oh me is too. that it I that's try- really all i, I watch know, honestly speaking i've tried to watch like little hardcore or like cum shot and it's just it does not do it for me like it's nothing like watching some girl and girl and imagining yourself right then and there and that's it like i prefer threesome porn yeah. with three still, girls no two girls and a guy mm-hmm. i prefer a side of dick <laughs> in the porn because i feel like, and i don't want the hardcore threesomes but i do like the intimacy that the women tend to have they kiss mm-hmm. they're touching it can be really nasty but like in a really sensual way which right. is what i really like in sex and so then with a little side of dick because i still want some dick in there sometimes they get too nasty when it's just too gross it's too they much do. spit. i love, I love that it. Shit. i love it i what? type in and, and they talk spit. too much i literally will type in hardcore nastiest lesbians right <laughs> Or like I'll put. Have you ever like, got too intricate what? with your yes. sentence? You'd be like hardcore nasty like is pretty hair. Or I'll put like the black bitch. lesbian, Nubian lesbian. <laughs> So that Use anything that pops in your mind. Like black girl, Latina girl, black man, big dick, big titties, <laughs> suck big ass, eating fine, booty, fine, so on vacation. Or or big tit lesbian. I like, be trying I, to get the locations together. I want them right. to be on a vacation. I'm setting the scene. Right. I want them to be, be on really vacation. In the... They seduced a girl at the bar. <laughs> Before you know it, the whole day has gone by. And right. You're like, Let me or take if it's my just 10 o'clock and you're supposed to be at work right. and you're still in the bed. Still still in you're trying to find the perfect porn I'm telling you, we sitting here trying to find the best porn and it's like one in the morning you know you're supposed to be asleep you got work you in the morning but you just are. need to get off like but you're just trying to find the good one like the that best, best one. one like oh this is boring next like that shit is hilarious that shit is I hilarious I can't. y'all it's summer 19 i already said booty out all summer 19 what's up booty, Has your booty out. been out yet my booty been out i've been at my place at the pool booty out not even nervous normally I'd be the one with my booty out but you try to walk around with your towel on I always am nervous to show my booty Why? especially if you other people nice are booty. around that don't have big booties <laughs> it just makes me feel weird like okay. everybody else has these little you. booties and here comes mine <laughs> anyway so it's summer 19 it's good dick season okay. I hope you're in- included in that uh, sure. listen it's gonna work out I just it's gonna work out so I wanna know like do we have any like sexual summer dating plans or like are we dating around anybody serious? We fucking, we being thoughty. What are we well, doing this summer? You know, since I haven't been prioritized by Bay, I feel as though I'm gonna keep my options open. And I have been. I've been like bagging little numbers here and here. And it's been like really I don't know. It's I usually don't care if a dude's holler at me or not. Like I ain't pressed, but mm-hmm. now I'm like <laughs> I'm I'm okay, okay, what's up? Like, it's been making me feel really, like, confident in a way. So I'm like, all right, cool. Like, yeah, I'm going to holler at you. Okay, yeah, I'm going to come to the rooftop and chill with you. Yep, I am. You need to let Bay hear this episode. Like, just send it to him. And if he asks, what is this? Be like, listen. And you know what? Honestly (laughs) speaking, like, okay, perfect example. We're at, I was at you guys' live show. Uh Uh-huh. And we had, I had a little, little cute little boomerang with Tahoe. You know Tahoe's flirtatious as ever. Do I know? I know you know. <laughs> that kiss was everything. I, <laughs> oh, loved, I forgot. I loved it. Yeah, that kiss it was great. So I'm like, go ahead, bitch. But anyway, we kiki in and we took a boomerang. So I posted it. He was like, I would never post a picture with a girl on my page, not even for like what I do and you know all this. Oh Are you his girlfriend? God. But we had a good kiki because he was like, I know that. He had to he had to check himself. He's like, mm. I know that we're not in a committed relationship and you're not my girlfriend yet, but that's something I would not do. And I was like, that's the homie. Relax. He's flirtatious with everyone. I am not that special, sweetie. And I'm glad that you feel that way. But you're not doing what you need to do. That's why you're worried about Tahoe. Goodbye. But you know what? I am at a point in my life where when people get mad about stuff like that, it is so annoying. I used it to was, it, I was very annoyed. Just listen to it and you explain yourself. But then like now I'm kind of like at a point where it's like, that's not an issue. Like it's my Instagram and you're saying you wouldn't do something like that. I'm obviously but not it, you, nigga. It's also a psychosis because you know you're not doing what you need to do. You know that I deserve a little bit more. I feel like you're more. projecting. Right, you're projecting. You know, because it's like you know that something that you're doing is lacking. You right. feel a little insecure because you feel like anybody could come take her because she's not all the way yours, or you're not doing everything that, that you, you know that she exactly. needs from you. Exactly. So then you're upset, and it's just like it's corny. Yep. Yeah. And he had a moment, and he got over it, and that's fine. But 
My niggas be old and doing crazy stuff. But that even though nothing to do with Instagram and they don't know how to work it right. Which <laughs> they don't I, even look. Listen, I need a new old nigga <laughs> because these old niggas that I used to know, We're I still can't on deal. Facebook? I well, can't I heard deal. that now, and now I'm hearing that 40 isn't old enough because 40 is the new 20, and people are like, you need to get a 60 or 70 but year old. But honestly, Whoa, oh, girl, I, don't I have that, this conversation they, at work today. I they was like, really hey, say that. They really get say you gotta go will. older. 40 year olds are getting a little bit I too mean, 40 year olds are getting closer to our age. They're close to our age. Older. <laughs> right. We're not 22 anymore, so like right. 40 is a little different. And they still dating around <laughs> like they're in their 20s, and that's what's hilarious to me. They're on the second wave Girl. if they were married before they're divorced or they had their and kids so already yeah they got grown ass kids grown and ass shit. kids grown. and so you know life is a little different there mm-hmm. was like a little bit more equal and yeah. maybe we ain't married with kids but we've been through some things so we've had some experience and now it's a little bit more even than when we were 20 dating a 45 year old yeah i mean i don't know anything about that but I know everything about it. <laughs> it's fucking these old niggas, man. <laughs> Kiki, you got a team this summer or no? Um, I uh, well, it's not summer yet, and I haven't decided what I'm gonna do this summer. Like honestly, um, I don't know that I'm gonna do anything too different. Mm-hmm. I do want to be fucking this summer, like Me I normally too. do. Um, <laughs> I do have a few trips planned this summer. Um, True. nowhere in particular, but I just kind of want to go somewhere and maybe um just see what happens. But I don't want to like over plan it i kind of just want to go with the flow and see what happens right now i don't have a team i got a couple niggas i'm fucking but i've been fucking them for a while so i feel like that's not really a team that's just like a snack that you always keep in the refrigerator you know <laughs> or, or in the pantry. pantry yeah the you pantry, know like your you oreos your, you get your popcorn right. you like the the boom chicka wow wow popcorn whatever boom it's chicka pop. yeah boom, boom, po- chicka boom chicka pop <laughs> and so you have your boom chicka pop in the pantry and you always have that so that's available but i might want something new i might I want, want some, some regular uh, kettle corn maybe, maybe you want an avocado i might want a popsicle yeah. or two something new you know mm. so i don't know we'll see what happens <laughs> I ain't been nowhere to get no new dick lately. <laughs> I had too much family time. I really went to. You fuck was this just weekend. in Greece. You could have got something new in Greece. I remember I told you that when I was in Greece, I didn't see those fine men that you allegedly saw. <laughs> I saw the niggas that smoked cigarettes all day oh. and had the mouths like the people on the boxes of cigarettes, where they're warning you not to do it. And I'm the dead. weather wasn't that great. That's it was a little crazy. chilly. They were short and puny. Like, I just wasn't seeing it. But I did have a good time with the people I was with. So, like, Greece was great, but I didn't see nobody I wanted to actually fuck. When like, I went to Greece, I was swimming in dicks and tzatziki sauce. I wasn't yes. swimming in shit because it was too damn cold. <laughs> if I could go again, I need to go, like, in July when it's warm mm-hmm. and the good the good looking men are out bathing mm. in the sun we'll see i don't know man. yeah but that was a month ago girl i mm-mm. that was but, already a month ago damn. yeah i left on april 30th i lived my it's life June. i lived my life on her um timeline i was like jesus this yeah i beautiful. mean I, it was a it was a beautiful, beautiful time and i will say i did see some beautiful <clears throat> men but they were with people and they weren't looking like they wanted some extra so yeah, they were like i'm good with my lady yeah <laughs> <laughs> um what's your type you know, I just like a, I like a little masculine something. Tell me to shut up. <laughs> Do you, like, okay, really what does he computers. look like? Well, you know what? As far as looks, I don't really have a look that I go for. Like, it's usually a vibe. But what if you could make, like, your idea of the perfect man? What What's your type, huh? All right, the perfect guy would be tall, chocolate, tall? Oh, about, uh, above six foot. Okay. Chocolate, beard. You know, these whole niggas got to have a beard. Um, and just like, you know, not too buff or nothing crazy, but like, you know. Like a basketball body or a baseball body or like I what? would take a basketball body. Well, like not us too, compare too buff. to sports. Right. Because it's not, the easiest way for us easy, to understand no, it's, it. It's yeah. easy, but not too buff, not too like gym rat and shit. Like, I don't want that. I'm yeah. on steroid, man. Yeah, I don't want that shit. It's too, I, I don't like a body too hard in my bed. Like, mm-mm. I mean, I'll still fuck it, but I still fuck it, but you know, <laughs> be picking you yeah. Up. But mm. honestly, like, yeah, that's what I like. Nice little chocolate. I need you to have some tattoos I'm and tatted okay up with face Tat- tattoos. Mm. Mm. No, are y'all? I need a nigga. I need a nigga, a nigga to have. But I need a nigga. I like the neck sleeve. tattoos. I do. But after the neck, it's like, all right, slow down. What's going? On? What's going on? Something happened. I don't. Mm-mm. 
But I guess, like, I think Dave East is fine, and I'm pretty sure he has face tattoos. Mm-hmm. Who is he? Dave East. Dave East. He's a rapper. Oh, the New York rapper. He has fine. one on the side, like, yeah, right here. Yeah, yeah. And doesn't it say his name? Yeah, Dave East. Mm-hmm. I don't know why he did that, but that's all right, boo. No, I doesn't it say Dave East? I think it says something else. It might say, I'm the Dave East is fine. Oh, he's fine. He's fine. He looks like he'll choke you just right. right. He will. Like, he, and he'll choke I mean, you in the right place. I mean, he looks like he will. Like he'll I choke you in the right place, He will. I was like, dang, kid, you over here. That's who uh, old snack is. And I'm not tired of light skinned niggas, but <laughs> honestly, him. Mm, I don't I'm care. Light skinned, dark skinned. White, shit, black, uh, Spanish. You look like that. <laughs> Perfect. Yes. <laughs> that man is fine. <laughs> okay, you guys. So I have a question. You what? Are you guys okay with somebody you're dealing with keeping in touch with his ex? For what? Just because that's just, like, there's no reason. They just didn't really end on bad terms. They're still cool. Not cool, like, they be kicking it. But, you know, she calls to wish him a happy birthday. He calls to tell her happy birthday. Um, I don't think that would bother me. A happy birthday is fine. That's fine. Is this a... As long as they're not chilling what and What if he to... borrows some money from her every now no. and then? Oh, hell no. Nah. Why are you borrowing money from her? For what? what? Like, I think that's... Mm-mm. It's like... Why would you... Why would you be borrowing money from an ex-girlfriend? Mm. That would be a little unsettling to me because I think like not only does it bother me, but it's like if I am seeing you and you find out that I'm borrowing money from my ex, you gonna have a problem with it because you that makes him feel insecure. Like I'm not doing my part. Yeah, but as us as women, we have already said we don't trick off on these niggas. So well, but with that, that, that's, that's, that's your but that, that, if that's your what do you need though, to borrow money for? Right. What What's if he just for? needed some money and he didn't feel comfortable asking you, so he asked her? But you he knew should she feel comfortable. Asking you shouldn't me. feel comfortable asking either one of us. Either <laughs> really, how I feel. And you know what? You don't True need to key. ask your ex. Y'all are done. She's moved. Uh, let her do what she's doing, and you need to get another job and, or something. And what the fuck are you borrowing money for? <laughs> Like, why? Because imagine, go, imagine go this. Go to your homeboys. Don't go to no bitch. Go to your mama or your daddy your, or your, your sister, brother. Somebody. somebody. But I'm just wondering, like, okay, imagine if a dude borrows some money, right? It's your dude, like you're dating or whatever you just said, and he has an ex-girlfriend. He borrows $500. But he borrowed the $500 because he wanted to take you somewhere. And then you find out that he borrowed that money to take you somewhere. I just feel like this is all sorts of fucked up, and I don't want, I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like it because it's like because totally if I was in her yeah. shoes, I would feel some type of way. Like you borrow money from me, I'm your ex. I'm thinking that you're going through out. something, but you're just trying to go on a date that you can't afford. So you're trying to borrow. I don't like it. No, you don't need to be borrowing money from her. You don't need to borrow it from me either. So, but wait, I. But y'all are saying really like going if you're through, with if this, somebody and no, your dude falls No, not if we're on. with him. Well, even if I you're dating just, him and y'all been dating for a minute, I did say what's dating. That? Let's say like you're you just made it past like the six month part, mm-hmm. and he did ask you to borrow some money. He How didn't much? do it in addition. Let's say a hundred dollars. Oh, that's fine. A hundred dollars is fine. Doable. That's doable. And y'all would now. But we're okay his with rent, it. Yeah. he can't pay his rent. But if you can't pay your rent, he needs to pay his rent. No. Okay, that's a big... Yeah, that's big. I'll be honest. uh, I was in a Georgia Power situation, sis. uh Uh-huh. For a calm $65. You know how Georgia Power is. If y'all live in Atlanta, y'all know. I know. So... Wait, how is it? So you don't have to pay... You you know, you don't pay the whole... You don't have to pay the whole thing. Okay, yeah. you can pay whatever the past due amount is before the new bill cycle starts. Mm -hmm. He forgot. Supposedly. Mm -hmm. We... I won't... I won't say. Not my not my current dude. Let's be clear, crystal clear because that wouldn't happen with him. But some <laughs> nigga I used to talk to a while back. Uh-huh. And um, he told me about it. And I felt, I was like on a humane level. Mm-hmm. I'm like, my nigga, I'm not going to have you in with the no dark. Power. Mm-hmm. How much is it? And he told me. I said, okay, send me your Georgia Power information. Nigga, I went in that bitch, cl- logged in, and I paid it. I ain't give him no money. I think that's dope. I think that's really Yeah, nice. I ain't give him no money, but I went and I logged in and I took care of it for him and he gave it right back to me, which was fine. But I'm like, I ain't gonna have you in the fucking dark because you've been ripping and running and you forgot Did to pay you your bill. Did you put him in a box? Did you put him in like no, a broke I didn't, nigga I didn't, box? I didn't, I didn't put him in a broke <laughs> nigga box, but I also think that he didn't have enough going on to forget his fucking power bill. Mm-hmm. You ain't got nothing going on. <sighs> You sound like a mama. You really just said you ain't got nothing going on. No, up. but he really didn't because this nigga would prefer to be up underneath me every day. Nigga, how did oh. you forget your fucking bill? See, mm. I don't like niggas like that. And that's he paid you back. He paid me back, which is fine, but that's why I don't like that nigga because he always wanted to be up underneath me. You got more... You need to I, be worried like, about your you bills. You got worry about Check your bills. Your worry about your stuff. Worry about your hustle and, you know, getting your shit together. Like thereof. Okay? Because I ain't going to be always a mean around to fix shit. <laughs> 
You know what I'm saying? I do feel like person. a mama. Oh my god. Yeah, you was looking like one, but it's okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> what would you do? Or how do you feel about it? I feel like if we are dating and we've been together for that little moment, I tend to when I am dating someone, it tends to move pretty quick. Um and it was a situation like that, like no, you no, no. this bill paid. No. How would you feel if it was somebody that you were dating and he asked his ex for some money and you found out that he borrowed right. it? Oh. See, I would have... Your original question. I for, totally forgot we <laughs> right. went on a whole other... <laughs> he, going on I can see you being helpful for somebody that you're dating. I think we can all agree on that. But the past, girl... I think I would first try to understand why he did it like because i would want to know like did you not feel comfortable asking me because then yeah, that, that would make be me issue. feel bad i would mm -hmm. be like dang like did i do something to make you feel uncomfortable right. have, have i been dropping broke nigga comments too much like <laughs> did i do something to make yeah, you feel, feel you uncomfortable I'm dead i feel you so i think i would approach it like that now if it was on some shit where he did this is just what y'all do and y'all have been doing this we need I don't even know if or I if you're to... like a manipulating type of nigga that just like to get money from bitches. And there's a couple of niggas like that. Well, yeah, we I would start it with that though. Like, what are we doing? What are we doing? Did mm -hmm. you not feel comfortable asking? Because I would just take it as you didn't feel comfortable asking me, and right. now I feel like I'm a mean girl. Right. So, um, and the reason why I ask that is because like Carlos and I are like that, and I wonder like if a man came into my life now and it got serious, is that like an issue? <laughs> Because if you ask Carlos for money or if he asked me for money, like oh. we have always told each other, like I always got you and it's not mm -hmm. on some sexual shit. We don't want to be together. I always have your back. Mm -hmm. If you if you fall on some hard times, I got you. Mm -hmm. Carlos is one of my only my only ex that I would do some shit like that for. But like he's helped me through so much in my life. I would never tell him no because mm -hmm. my nigga feels some type of way. I'm not yep. fucking him. So I we got, would have to have yeah. like a real open line of communication. And if there really is like a big problem with it, I don't know how he would solve it. But like. I just wouldn't leave that ex hanging. Right. Mm. And now, I have if one on that some fuck shit like I'm trying to take a girl on a date. No, I'm not giving you money. For I feel that. you. I have <laughs> no, I have one that I would do anything for. Period point blank cuz he's held me all the way the fuck down. But mm -hmm. these other niggas, his skirt skirt not happening. Figure it out. Yeah. Not for no bitch. And damn sure not for no damn. Mm -mm. No. And especially <laughs> not for no sneakers. Mm -hmm. Right. You're not going to buy Gucci bags. Yeah, right. Like, no, you tripping. Right. Like, she only she only that Gucci bag. She and get a scammer. <laughs> okay. Go get your little scammer. Okay. Where are the scammers at? Fits. Right. Your scammers in is sacks, not out here in no the more. cologne section. Do we just need to go stand in there and be like, what? Go, go try on some perfume. I don't know. I I'm not to... saying because I know. I just heard something. Uh -uh, it's my birthday <laughs> month. It's my birthday month. I need a scammer. Y'all better go in there. Go to the shoe section. Go see what's going on. Go look at the belt section. They like the belts, the Gucci belts. The um, <laughs> What's it called? I can't think of the name. But it's another little section in there. Why so? Not YSL. I need all the YSLs. But you could go there. I mean, all go to all the sec Just go through. Look at the accessories. That's where the baby scammers are. They're baby buying scammers? accessories. They can't buy, like, a suit. They're not buying Tom Ford suits. Right. Baby. But they can get a belt. They can get the flip-flops. They can get shoes. Eventually, they graduate to, like, a bag. And they might be just or buying duffel. wallets or something. They usually try to s start small to see if the piece going to hit. Wow. Oh, well, Kiki, we're going we to have to talk after <laughs> this episode, sis. Yeah, they get the little things first, and then if it's working, they go back for the bigger it's stuff. It's a, a birthday month. I need mm -hmm. a and shoe. And then go hit customer service <laughs> to see who's returning, because those niggas got cash, and you can go somewhere and not feel embarrassed. Ooh, You just wee. laid it all out for us. I don't remember when I walked in there. I've lived in, in Atlanta a long time, and I've got some uh, some friends who yes. have taught me some things. I got to pay attention I got right. I'm yeah, bitch. it's the details. Listen, because at details. home in New York, it's so hard to get like a scam like the own in it, the scam that is going on is sax that is still a good scam really mm -hmm. even nordstrom don't sleep on nordstrom because nordstrom accepts all the returns well my little sister works for nordstrom she's worked mm -hmm. for nordstrom for four years shout out kathy um <laughs> kathy. But, but there are ways to get things not her not her she needs her job but <laughs> Kathy, there are ways what the fuck did things. you say on that show <laughs> okay, bitch, i need my discount nah, but i know people that have done uh, cousins friends that have done some shit with nordstrom i've done some shit with nordstrom i had a friend who used I to have. return her ugg boots every winter Me, we used to do it every year and get her money back no in new york she would get a new pair in new york, or no. when times were rough she would get her money back and then later she would go get a new pair it was Listen, her college little skate so you don't need a receipt or anything you don't need a you don't need they take them even if they're they, those bitches were worn the fuck down you and she would take bring them back your old chestnut uggs worn down from with 2009 new, with, with new york salt and this from the salt in the street all that bring that shit back and swap it out for the same chestnut ones yes yep. absolutely 
they cannot you tell didn't you know that. I did not. And if you're and if you're a card holder, a Nordstrom card holder, yep. oh, it's even better for you. Yeah, even better for it's you. so much easier. I did not know this. You and can I, just walk in there. It don't have to be in a box or nothing. So I ain't shit. How do they know you even got them from there? They don't. No, but That's they do. The no, 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 they do because there's always a sticker on the box. No. If you what if you don't have the box? without the box? Oh, well, if you don't have the box. Ooh. That is insane. Really? No, I, yeah. we've always, no, but one thing I've heard and I've learned. Well, this was in D.C., and, but she did not be have, she did not have the boxes. And this is before, and this is before my <laughs> sister like, I here. know. No, and this is before my little sister worked there. We used to take the Uggs back, but we would buy them from Nordstrom. So they had that little Nordstrom return sticker on the box like so that they know. used to do. Yes, exactly. Wow. I ain't gonna now, hold y'all. sometimes you wouldn't be able to get your money back if you didn't have the box. You could exchange them. But you could, them. You could swap but when it they out. exchange them, they're gonna give you a box. Girl, I went, I had to go to my Let t- me stop because y'all gonna think I'm <laughs> I, a damn scammer. I'm not a, I'm not a and I didn't even scammer. run that scam. I'm not a full but scammer, I but I did it. Happen. I did it before. I had to go to Montego Bay because uh-huh. I just. You had to go? Bitch, I, I needed to get out the <laughs> she snow. She said it like she was going now, for I work. Had to go, bitch. You did I had live to go. in New York. I you did have to go. Bitch, I had to go. Cold. It was snow. It was, I was miserable. I had got laid off and I was like, well, I got the money on my credit card to beat the ticket, but I need some cash to go out there, right? Yeah. Girl, bye. I went and bought. A little Marc Jacobs bag and some Air Max. Took the bag with me on a trip. Took mm-hmm. the Air Max, swapped it out, and when I went to swap to like uh, to get the money back, mm-hmm. I swapped my Chase card instead of the Nordstrom card. I got that. I got that cash. Right. Nordstrom <laughs> is just like they so lax, especially in the birds. Really are. They're I, did, I did, I did, I did, I did that. That was like six, seven years ago. But that's neither here nor there. Is this? I got I my mean, fucking it's cash lots to go. Of little things that people do. I and got that my just cash lets to go. You know that the fashion industry is marking shit up all the way up so that they can afford these losses because these are just losses. Loss prevention. I'm going to mm, Nordstrom. Dang, got it. I'm just gonna start taking shit up there. Or just make your purchases there so when times get rough. Yeah, make your purchases there happen. so you can always it's swap, like swap out. It's kind of like an insurance policy. It really is. Huh. It really is. Mm-hmm. Buy a nice bag. Uh, oh, goodness. Something happened. I got to take it back. I need I, I bought, need I had money. bought a YSL bag from them <laughs> years ago and I swapped it out when I when they like changed the style of it. I swapped it out. Mina, you be eating booty? No. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, the fuck not. Swapping bags to swapping feces. Swapping feces. No, ma'am. You don't. Have you ever tried it? No, I haven't. I, you know, I'm not saying I won't ever do it. I feel like you are She's saying so that. Sad. No, I'm. No, I'm not. I feel like you have to be drunk. I, I, no, I feel like it has to just be that nigga. It, like I have not fine. met that nigga that I really want to eat a booty. Be nasty. He got to be a nasty nigga. That's that nigga. But have you ever had a nigga that asked you to eat no, his booty or I've tried it? Ne- to... I've never had. I've never you had anybody fuck scooch New York on me niggas or East Coast niggas. Wait, what? Do you only fuck with niggas from the East Coast? No, I try. I've been trying to fuck a dude from L.A. and he's just <laughs> such a fucking lame. He's a big fucking lame. I said it on my show a couple of times. I'm sure he's listened, but he's just a fucking lame. And I just, I'm like, I love his personality. Mm-hmm. It's just different. Like he What's just. What's wrong with him? He right, just why fuck- you can't eat his booty? Well, why first- you can't <laughs> eat his booty? He What's even, wrong? We ain't even talked about no sex or nothing like that. But um, well, what y'all talk about? He asked me <laughs> to go to Vegas for Memorial Weekend. Okay. He, he tried to flew a bitch out. He tried to flew a bitch out. Yeah. And I said, I'm, you know what? This is a fucking milestone for us. Like you want to fly me out? What's Great. Up? This is be happy. Great. So he asked me, like, what times do I need to fly? All of that. Because I was like, hey, I'm not taking no PTO at all. Like, I'm not for the shit. <laughs> I know that's right. I need to just get back Monday night. I don't give a fuck what it is. I need to get back Monday night. I need to sleep for four hours and get in that office. Period. Point blank. Mm-hmm. So he said, all right. So I sent him the time frame. I was like, nigga, I will fucking fly spirit. I don't care. Like, just put me on the flight because I just need those time frames. <laughs> Sent it to him, and they were not unreasonable because he said he was gonna pay for it. Right, bro. I sent him just shit. I ain't hear from him. He, oh, he didn't get it. He got the shit, but he just never said anything about buying the ticket or going forward. So then, skirt, skirt, speed up to like a week or two after Memorial Week. Well, no, Memorial Weekend was last week. So he asked me at the top. I want to say mid April. He asked me. We never talked about it. He came into town um, because he used to live here in Atlanta and he had to handle some business. He had an apartment here and he was trying to take me out. And I said, okay, I'll come link with you because I definitely was going to talk about that fucking Vegas trip that did not happen. Mm -hmm. Because I was, I was, listen, it's been a minute. Sorry, babe. It's been a minute and he's fine as fuck. He's a little short, but fine as fuck. (laughs) Like body popping, beard. He's delicious. I was like, (laughs) I might fall on the dick that weekend for real, for real. Like, honestly, I'm not even going to hold y'all. But, 
that didn't happen. So when he wanted to hang out, I said, fine. But then he kind of hit me with the, and I don't know if I sound crazy for this, but he didn't he organize. Do. Shut up. <laughs> he didn't organize with me, like say, hey, I'm coming into town in advance. He hit me on Wednesday. He got into town on Thursday to handle his apartment stuff. Friday, he's moving things out. So we're supposed to hang out, link for drinks. I said, okay, cool. No problem. So when I got off of work at five, I'm hitting him and he's like, okay, I'm still doing this. Let's link at 7 30, 8 o'clock. He like, oh, then sent me an address to some place on the south side. And I'm like, the south side of what? The south side. I'm sorry. <laughs> I do have city sis, limits when it comes to this. I was like, at I first, do I, like, first I have I don't even go past like fuck. I don't God, it, I, I just feel like, like what are we doing down there? Why what are, are we, we going, going to the south there? side? Are we going to McDonald's? Did y'all go to U Bar? Did y'all go to U Bar? Because no, I'm not going. I didn't to camp go anywhere free. with him. <laughs> I'll tell you why. So oh, he hits me back and he says, "Hey, um, let's link about seven thirty eight. I said, "Fine. I need to meet up with my friends at eleven, twelve, the latest." He's like, "Oh well, we ain't even gonna have time to spend it with each other. Skirt, skirt. We didn't plan this. You just came into town. I had pre existing plans." He says. All right, no problem. So you go hang out with them. And then afterward, I'm staying with you because I need to go to the airport in the morning. It's a no the fuck you're not. That was your plan the whole time. That was your fucking plan the whole time. (laughs) What, you think I was supposed to let you sleep over for a a pre-existing promise to go to Vegas? I'm good. We didn't go. So had we went and I busted open, that's a different story. And I had a great time there. All expenses were paid. Yeah, Mm -hmm. absolutely. I was like, damn, L.A. niggas. Come on, like... Do y'all run this game on every fucking body? I ain't met an L.A. nigga like that. I'm sorry. That's some bullshit. He was on some bullshit. Was he trying to be a singer or an actor? No, he oh. he he just works a regular job. Like, I ain't Was he from L.A. or was he from Rancho Cucamonga? No, he, he from L.A. He from L.A. <laughs> And that when I saw next his... Friday and they had Rancho Cucamonga, <laughs> Cuc- I thought that was... <laughs> I did not know that was a real city. It's a real, it's place. A real it's place. It's just like outside the city. It's like when people be saying they're from Atlanta, but really they live in like Loganville. Conyers. Lawrenceville. Snellville. Yes. Like the not from Calhoun. Atlanta. What the fuck is oh. that? Cartersville. Bitch, that's not Atlanta. That's you like in... Tennessee and South Carolina, right. bitch. I don't know. The zip codes, I mean, not the zip code, the area code's probably different. But, yeah, that's fucked up. I would have an attitude. I had an attitude, and guess what, sis? He went what? to the fucking spot and waited for me, and I did not show. I yeah. ki- I kindly put my phone on Do Not Disturb, and I went to watch She's Gotta Have It, and I finished it. That's what the <laughs> fuck I did on a Friday. Like, nigga, fuck you. And I went to watch She's Gotta Have It, and I finished that shit. Netflix and chill by my, by motherfucking, my motherfucking self. self. <laughs> that's what the fuck new Netflix. had candles on and all of that. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> These niggas are a trip. Like, it's just insane. Like, the type of shit that they think that we're gonna go for. Like, mm. I mean, well, in their defense, and I'm really not defending them, <laughs> a lot of bitches do go for no, it. No, but this is go for it. <laughs> and I mean, that's the I'm thing drunk, that I'd just. I've been going for shit. I already told you I was I've gone I'm, for a couple of things, but that was just things. not one. That... It's just like, a bitch, you didn't even get me drunk first. You could have fed me. And got me drunk, and then it would have been better. But you didn't even do now, that. Now, baby, you gotta feed me. Have and get some me drunk. decency. <laughs> at least, at least, be, at least, get, give me one meal in a fucking old fashioned, sis. Like, okay, <laughs> some. oh well, fuck these niggas. Fuck them. <laughs> fine, his fine, his fine, fucking ass. Damn. Good. Oh, he was fine. He's I mean, fine as fuck. Fine. Right? I, I forgot he was fine because of all the other shit you said. He's I would so been fine. Like that's the shit that's crazy about it. It's like he fine as fuck. Like. Damn. You probably Did you talk to him again? To him? <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not. That's the thing. Like, If he called you right now, what would you say? I'd probably send him another voicemail, honestly. Like, I'm, text you, he's like, I'm in I'd town. be answering. No, I wouldn't. I'm going to be real. No, I would answer we've had some things in the past that just really rubbed me the wrong way, but that Vegas trip was just like, oh my God, it's going to bring it all together because I have like my fantasy. <laughs> but you never fucked him? No. Never kissed. Hmm. Bitch, we went to church together one day. We had a church date. I thought, oh, he the one. But he wasn't. He was not. Well, it's a good thing you figured it out before you fucked him. Girl. I probably would have fucked him too quick. Right before <laughs> church. Oh, <my> God. <laughs> and I was cute at church. I had a little little, little number on. It was like wintertime and shit. I had my over-the-knee boots. I don't be going to church with niggas because I feel, um, I have too many sinful thoughts. No, it just. And it, it makes me feel uncomfortable. Honestly like, speaking, I don't want my pussy wet in church. That was the first nigga that really wanted to go to church with me. And it made me feel, I'm like, damn. I always feel like the That's niggas cute. who want to go to church with me, they are up to no good. Like, this is a part of your game. I already see right through it. And damn. every time, it's only been a few times, but every time, I was right. Those niggas be up to, I mean, I still fail for the game. Game, but at least I didn't go to church with their ass. 
Girl, I went to church with him, man. <sighs> Better luck next time. Right. Bye. Well, uh, we got to move on to Indecisive Diane. Oh, I need to go on a date. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Me too. You sounded so exasperated. Yeah. No, I really want one. I need a date. But these niggas just want to. Okay, Sometimes I do want to Netflix and chill. I do, and I've done lately. It. I, I, I don't that's feel all like it. it's, it's a been lot tired. to do. Yeah, no, we watch we me and we watch Netflix. I still got it, even though they went up to fifteen ninety nine. They better oh, not go up not one went motherfucking one time. It's about to be like cable. Bitch, like, if I'm paying, I'm paying for Hulu, Netflix, and cable for me and my sister. And I'm like, bruh. This is the fucking cable bill. You're a good sister. I don't be sharing you my password. Oh, I nah, share my password. And it's too only many me and her. It got to the point where I had to It got to too many people. Yeah. And then I couldn't get on one day. I said, oh, no. Nah, somebody okay. needs to log. You ought to be trying to text me. Log off the account. I, no, I texted and it don't work. I had my best friend on there. And I changed the password on purpose. Because I was like, bitch, you got your niggas in the house using my fucking Netflix. And I can't watch <laughs> my show. Stranger Things is coming on in July. This is not going to work. I hate when oh, they watch my show. And it fucks up. And then you don't right. know where you at. Right. So you don't know where you was at. <laughs> Make your own profile, bitch. You, right. you can have multiple profiles. That's exactly. disrespectful. Take Anybody out there who is not making their own profile when somebody hands Get you a password. Forever. Double check with them and make sure it's room for you to make a password. I mean, a profile. It probably is. And go watch it over mm-hmm. there. That have is some so courtesy. true. Have some motherfucking <laughs> courtesy. Okay, y'all. So, again, uh, we're going to move on to Indecisive Diane. Would you stop thinking about what everyone wants? Stop thinking about what I want, what he wants, what your parents want. What do you want? What do you want? It's not that simple. What it's- do you want? What do you want? Okay, Diane, so what cute little date idea do you have for us this week? Hey, ladies, it's me, Indecisive Diane. So listen up. This week, I don't really have like a restaurant idea for you. I just have a cute little a cute little activity that you should go do with your mans. Maybe take your lady to do it. So here's the deal. You got to have some type of connection. You can't just do this shit with somebody that you don't like. Okay, Diane, so what is it? So I want you to pull up at your local Barnes & Noble. Barnes & Noble, girl? Barnes & Noble. So Take him in there. You two get lost in the books. And each of you goes to pick a book that you think the other would like. And you just got to know their personality. You might not know it, but maybe you do. And then it leads to really great sex. Okay, Diane, that makes no sense. But thanks, girl. No problem, ladies. Goodbye. I actually want to do that with somebody. That'd be cute. So cute, right? So cute. And you're like, find me in the book department where you think I'm at. Find me in the fiction. (laughs) She is the tequila. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> moving right along to advice. Uh, remember, you guys, if you want to ask us for some advice, send your emails to askcocktails at gmail.com. I've got one pulled up that says, Hey, ladies, blessings to you both and everything surrounding you. That's so positive. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks. Okay, so I need a little advice, and I'm going to keep it short. There's this guy who I started messing with after I had a child. He made me feel sexy and myself again. I was in a relationship, and my baby daddy just wasn't helping me get back where I was mentally. Bad part is me and this guy barely talked. We only hooked up to fuck. How he touched me, but how he touched me, whoo child. He turned every switch on in the house. Fast forward, we messed around on and off for about two years. This last year and a half, he's gotten a girlfriend and had a child himself. We've each, we've seen each other at a mutual friend's home and flirted a little through text message but haven't hooked up. How do I let him know that I need those hardworking man hands on my body one last time? Mm. Or should I just leave him alone? I know his girlfriend ain't doing her job because his mutual friend so happens to be his family member and she tells it all. Out of my top five guys, he's number one. And I need that before me and my guy decide to finally get our act together and be in a committed relationship again. P.S. I know he wants his... I know he wants his warm pussy because we always have condom sex, but one drunk night slash morning, he took the condom off and wanted to feel it. Needless to say, he had to hurry up and put it back on because he was enjoying it a little too much. Signed, help us out. So she just wants to fuck him one last time. Yeah. I mean, girl, just work it out. 
I, I would mean, say like maybe tell him, shit. tell him, yeah, or like tell him to meet you somewhere and just maybe get a hotel room. Tell him to meet you at the hotel room because y'all need a place to fuck because they both in relationships, right? right? Yeah. Exactly. So get a hotel room, have him meet you there, and like they said, just tell him. Like maybe if you don't want to verbalize it, just like write a little note and have it on the door so that like when he comes in, he knows what's up. Bust I mean, open, if you sis. invite me to a hotel, I know what's up. And I mean, we might just no. be getting drinks. Like you, yeah, you never went to go get drinks at a hotel bar. I have, but if if she's at the hotel like room, she goes yeah, to the room she could be number. like me at the bar, and then he'll oh. go to the bar and then be like, I'm she, in room. Yeah, she. I know right, right, right. Again, I'm easy. If I know that a nigga this invited fish. me to a hotel, <laughs> I mean, we can meet down at the bar. But I'm thinking you trying to relive or not relive, but create one of my fantasies I already told you about, where I want to be strangers at the bar who meet and we fuck. Oh, I still want to do that. Ooh, I did I it before and it was fun. I want to do it again. Shit. Okay, well. Hey, baddies. Let me get straight to business. This may be long, but worth it. I finally met a guy who treats me like a queen. Super generous and affectionate. We meet. We met on a dating site and immediately clicked. We literally went on four dates in a row. We had amazing conversation. He didn't hesitate to pay for anything, and he has his own place and a banging car. Oh, you've some, been through some shit. When right, people girl. explain that. Come on now. I finally decided I liked him enough to give him the pussy. So he plans another date to go bowling, and I said I'd meet him at his place. Then we could go from there. Prior to this date, the only thing we had done was kiss. Now, I should have known something was off because the Negro was kissing aggressive as fuck. Mm. Like, damn, nigga, relax. I'm going to choke off your tongue. Mm. I ignored it and thought it was just me since I'm not that experienced sexually. Here's a little background on me. I'm 25. I never get niggas and I barely ever fuck. <laughs> That's honest. It's February now, and I haven't had sex since June of 2018. So my pussy was writ to go. We start fooling around, and he sucks on my titties, neck, and it was feeling real good. We finally get to fucking, and when he pulls the dick out, it's small. Like, small, small. Not a micro penis, <laughs> but it barely enters my vagina. And trust That's me. That's a micro penis. <laughs> and trust me, my shit is tight as hell. It couldn't have been more than three and a half inches. Mm -mm. Then he had the audacity to try and stick it in without eating my pussy. I had to tell him, hold the fuck up. You got to lick it before you stick it. <laughs> he did it begrudgingly. Like, boy, you need to love eating this pussy because that dick ain't it. We finally finished and it was nothing to write home about. He's still treating me great, but the sex is lame. He's not freaky and he doesn't like his dick sucked. That's my favorite part. I like, bet he does. But hey, he can't. That's <laughs> a thumb. That shit is it's a finger. Girl, that's a pinky. Like, what the fuck? Uh, he, prefer, he prefers when we make out and I jerk it. What oh, kind God. of middle How school you shit? It, flick it? What, with, your two, with, your, with your thumb and your index finger? With my fingernail? Right. What kind that of works. middle school shit are you on? Ew. Here's my dilemma. I'm fat with a cute face. Ooh, <laughs> this is why she... Ooh, I'm, ooh, let me shut up. I'm black and I live in San Diego, California. Oh. Land of Latinas are winning. Men are not jumping down my neck to take me on proper dates or show me off. I do like him. <laughs> Should I stay with him and see if sex gets better or cut him off and move on? Bitch, you better just spit on the dick. You and can take move the date. to Atlanta. There's plenty of niggas out right, here. Right. There's okay? a lot of niggas that are Alabama, fuck you out here. Alabama, Mississippi, South Carolina, All North Carolina, Tennessee. Girl, go to Birmingham. Something. Shit. I don't know. P.S. I mean, my birthday is in April. Happy belated birthday, girl. And I know he will go all out, which what? no one. What? What? Wait. So she still. Wait. I said she still needs to do with You wrote him. this letter wrong. You should have led with the first part. <laughs> right. You said my birthday is coming up. Then told us the bullshit about the micro penis i hope you got your birthday gift i know he will go all out which no one has ever done for me he gotta go all out sis i need help please ladies you can see me on ig she put her ig <sighs> kiki that hair color looks so good on you Thanks, i love girl. you both signed confused and still horny first of all i commend you for the honesty right and honestly. the detail in yeah. this advice letter this, this, she said i'm fat with a cute face in parentheses mm -hmm. girl Oh. I mean, it's lots of niggas. I, I feel like you don't have to settle for somebody who's not giving you what you want because you feel like you fat. Even if other people tell you fat. So what? Fat bitches still get niggas. They right, do. they I don't do. Mean nothing. And you cute. They willing to put up with a lot more shit than we are. So, I mean, 
I would actually Bust say it open. <laughs> maybe let's go a little deeper here and change your mindset. And then what you're wanting might start to flow to you more. Because like Kiki said, like you're settling because you think mm-hmm. you can't get more. You can, sis. You, you can. can. You, you can. can. You have and it has nothing to do. Niggas might be able to feel that on you that you maybe. That insecurity. You don't have, yeah, exactly. Get over that. So what? Just because you fat don't mean you got to deal with a little pinky penis. Yeah, that little thumb. If you want to get and fucked up. And he want to have an attitude about licking your pussy. And he, and he talking about. Because he didn't feel he had to. It was a not. Like, yes, you do. If he you didn't want feel your he pussy had to. Lick, he just thought it was just going to go in because it's that small. That's really. I've never seen a dick that's, that big in real life. No shade, no tea. Dick that little, you mean. Yeah. Nah, <laughs> I, I don't. I don't. I, <laughs> yeah, I, my mind listen, is going crazy. I had a small dick one time. And that was the one time. I saw a nigga with a small dick one time. It was that nigga I fucked in Miami so we get the room so we wouldn't be stuck in the you streets. You took one for the team. I Fuck did, but that nigga right. had a little dick and had the nerve to use a magnum. I'll never get Ooh, over that. I'd be scared. Ooh, like, baggy. sir, this is it a was safety baggy? hazard. Huh? It, it was, was baggy. I said, oh, no, we got to get something else. Yeah, Baby, this no. ain't going to work. Oh, hell no. Nah. This no, is no, no, like no. a big old tube sock that you ain't washing a month of Sundays. No, thank you. Anyway, oh. moving on to the cocktail. So, remember, if you want to send us your cocktails... Um, you can email them to us, cocktails.atl at gmail.com. Girl, you got it. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. If I want to fuck, I'm going to fuck em. But if they ain't got a buck, I won't cuff them. Spend a hundred on me, it ain't nothing. Run a double D, so stuff Back to the point, is it some cash in this place? If it is, I'll probably see the stats in your face. Turn around, round. Once upon a time, not long ago, I was a ho. Does anyone have an original cocktail that they'd like to share? Mina has to have an original cocktail. So <gasps> let's start with an OG cocktail. Well, I, an OG cocktail. You've had plenty of time to think. I had time to think. And, you know, head is important. It is. Squirting is not important because I feel like not everybody can squirt. I will attest to that. But can you squirt from the head? Yes. I think you can squirt from anything. Bitch, I didn't fucking know. Oh. So when I did, said guy gave me the nastiest, sloppiest head I've ever had in my life. Like, I, I fantasize about it till this day just to get off sometimes while I'm watching Girl on Girl. Um, <laughs> especially since I'm not fucking right now. So I might as well just think about that moment. But I had like, and I had only squirted one time prior to that. And that was years ago. But I mean, it By was yourself or with someone else. With someone else, okay. or while we were fucking, it was amazing. But yo, when I tell you like the sloppiest, nastiest porno kind of head that you could ever get in your life, <gasps> it was just amazeballs. Like I, like literally the blanket that was on the bed, I just was like, oh my god, I have to like throw this in the wash immediately. Like it was just. You know, the, like the cover shot that's on it is like hard because that was from me. <laughs> oh, right. Like <laughs> that was from me. <laughs> like I it was happens. so, it was so sloppy, so nasty. And then the thing about it is like he's eating the pussy and he was licking my butt. Like after eating my pussy for, I, I don't even know how long it was. Maybe like 25, 30 minutes. I don't know. Nose deep in it, beard in it, everything. He just nigga took my legs and my feet and started licking my toes after. Oh. oh. He was into those toes. Yes, he has a toe fetish. He has a Do you like fetish. your toes up? I, I, you, I, honestly speaking, up until that point, health and an all, but that point right there, after that orgasm, I was just like, Lord Jesus, I think I want to get married. <laughs> like, it was just Girl. that good. He was licking, like, licking the soles of my feet in my toes. That would tickle me. I don't know if I... It tickled me, but I guess I was so sensitive at that point. I just mm-hmm. was like... Was I was like good. jello. Like, it was just great. That's that good, good. Like, my mouth waters thinking about it. I That's hope you still best. have them in your life. I do. That's good. <laughs> what a blessing. I do. <laughs> now, this one I'm going to read. And Kiki, cut me off if we have read this before. I probably won't remember, but I'll try. I don't it. think we have read it before. It's It's about... This girl that did the pills. Just tell me if I'm... The pills? The uh, sex pills. The she orgasms. Mm. This is long as shit. What's the subject? By Curious No More. Oh, Thank you, cocktails. And okay. she orgasms. I don't think we read that. Hey, ladies. 
First, let me say congratulations on the live show this past Saturday. I was in the building and loved every minute of it. I learned so much and really enjoyed it. So proud of you guys. Also, I want to thank and congratulate the sponsors, especially She Orgasms. I finally got my hands on these pills in a self-pleasure journal. And thanks to these bad boys, I was able to fulfill one of my fantasies with a woman. Mm. I'll try to keep it short and leave all the nasty in it. But this is a mouthful. So I came from out of town for the show and got back in my hometown Sunday morning and went out to brunch with my sorors. I was going to save my pills and try them out before sex with my boyfriend later that week. But after hearing Kiki described her, describe her, bitch, you need to be in a commercial for she orgasms (laughs) and describe her experience with a couple of these and some drinks. I decided to try them out just to see what they could do. I popped to it in bad boys and continued my afternoon. I ran into one of my old friends. Let's call her Cece. I DK how she identifies, but she likes women slash is a lesbian. She carries herself more masculine, but she's curvy and fine as hell. Dread smooth brown skin, tall. Though I've never been with a woman, she's deaf my type. Anyway, we reconnected and had some conversation and she offered to buy me a drink, but I declined. As I had two drinks in my hand, I thought she might have been flirting with me, but my pussy was soaking at this point and I was feeling the pills and drinks. So I thought it was just me and thought nothing of it. But we continued to hang out and dance all night. Eventually, I'd gotten so horny that I texted my man and told him I was coming over because I needed to fuck now. I go to the bathroom and come back and CC was the only person left at my table. I tell her I'm leaving soon, but she convinces me to stay a little bit longer. We started talking about everything and get to relationships. And long story short, I'm telling her about the live show and about all the freaky shit I've done and all the freaky shit I'm into in general, including the fact that I've been curious to try sex with a woman. Apparently, I looked as horny as I sounded because between her laughing, she leaned in closer and told me I had a wet spot in the middle of my romper, smirking at me like she knew something I didn't. I was a little embarrassed, but also turned on because she was so close to me. Excuse me. She leaned in closer and crept her hand up my thigh towards my ass, massaging it. She whispered in my ear, asking if I still needed to leave soon. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure I moaned out loud. She was still close up on my neck, almost kissing me. And I prayed in my head because... I just knew I was about to cheat on my man with this bitch. I told her that I had a man and he was waiting for me and I started gathering my things, but she grabbed my arm and told me to go to the bathroom while she paid the bill. That bitch started scurrying to the bathroom. She came in the bathroom, a one person bathroom and locked the door and it was on. We made out. She started kissing and sucking on my neck. My skin grew hot and I slipped out of my romper. She started flicking and pulling on one of my nipples. I had told her that was my weak spot and rubbing my clit, making me beg her to eat my pussy and call her (laughs) ma'am. Maybe she meant to put mama. Either Mm. one is weird. I told her I was submissive as well. Once I had begged enough, she turned me around facing that wall, bent me over and started eating and sucking my pussy. Oh, my God. I knew women ate pussy better. I had never been so stimulated in my life. And I had and I've had some good dick and bomb ass toys. She was eating the shit out of me, smacking my ass and humming and humming against my clit. The sounds of wetness were bringing me close to my orgasm. She kept telling me how good I tasted and how wet I was. Right at the edge of me coming, she stopped and turned me back around. We shared another kiss, covered in my pussy juice, and she plunged her fingers inside of me. Once she started going, I screamed and moaned. She was hitting my G-spot. She covered my mouth to stop me from screaming and told me to look into her eyes while I was coming. I was going crazy. And a few moments later, I came all over her fingers. I didn't even know I could cream. After having me lick her fingers clean, she helped me get dressed. I had three missed calls from my boyfriend, and she told me to hurry home and text her afterwards. How was I supposed to go home and fuck him after this mind-blowing orgasm? I felt so played that I sat up there and exposed all my cheat codes to this girl, and she used them against me. But I didn't regret it. That shit was amazing, and I would never look at my pussy the same again. 
Um, to be honest, I knew my man couldn't eat my pussy like she did. And <laughs> I would be thinking about it, about it the whole time. Once I got home, I immediately confessed to him and told him about the whole experience. To my surprise, he wasn't mad. He said he wished I would have told him. I was curious. He, he said, I, I wished I would have, he wished I would have told him cur- uh, that I was curious earlier and that he encouraged me to do it again. Anytime. Then he proceeded to fuck the dog shit out of me. Thank God for these pills. I mean, that nigga knew (laughs) like, yo, if she fucks this girl on a regular basis, that's just going to heighten my like, you know what I mean? uh, He doesn't have to be there. It's just the thought of how her pussy is going to get wet and all of that. That's like making him think like, all right, I'm going to fuck shit out of her. Like it's getting him money. I bet people was like, what the fuck are y'all doing in there? You know when you'd be waiting too long at the bathroom at brunch? like me having to pee. Right. What the fuck are y'all doing in there? That was good. That was good. That was really good. Well, shout out to you, girl. I'm glad you had fun. Yes, girl. Do it again. I recommend those pills to you. I'm telling y'all, that's not something she just paid me to say. I just really love them. All right. So this one is short and embarrassing. Embarrassing. So this person says, hey, y'all, I was listening to you guys recently and Kiki suggested that we share some embarrassing times with you. So here goes two quick ones. I'm only reading one. Um, She says, I don't know about you ladies, but sometimes during sex, I feel like I'm holding in a fart. So one time while I was riding dick on the couch, I had a really good nut. And at the same time, a silent fart came out and it stunk. Yes. So I hopped up and was like, whoo, OMG, that was so good. I'm so hot. (laughs) I backed away, fanning myself, really, the fart, and moved to the patio door, moved to open the patio door. I'm sure he noticed, but he didn't say a word. He just came over, kissed me, then bent me over and kept going. So I was like, okay. Then he commenced to throwing that ass back. Oh, And that was it. Thanks, girl. I mean, that is embarrassing to fart during sex. Fart during sex. But I think I don't know. I think niggas are cool with the shit. Like it, it like they it depends. They don't care. They don't care. I told y'all about that my long time ago when the dude I was he was eating my pussy and I farted and he was like you just turned me totally off and he stopped. And so I'm not human, bro. And like I'm not human. I mean, I get it. It was but in I mean, his face. Eating pussy <laughs> and just fucking are different. Like when your face is there, like you're just fucking. It's like, all right, well, shit. I got one too. I'm gonna let it go. Shit, I was holding it in, and it's fucking up my stroke game. Especially you when know? they spread your booty open and you're not expecting it. It's right, already my air, and the so, air hits your booty. Yeah, yeah. And you're yeah. already moist. You don't know how to stop anything. And when it's a booty queen. It's not a fart. It's a booty queen. When I, a booty queen. When I get a wax, I always get so nervous. And like, okay, flip over. Let me do the back. And you got to spread your cheeks. It's like. That is when my nerves get to me and I feel like gas. Like, no matter what, it feels like gas. I'm just so nervous. I'm going to let it out a loud way. Because sometimes I'm really gassy. I just yeah. really love roasted broccoli and I eat it like every other day. Oh, and that makes vegetables, me so yeah. gassy. I eat a lot of spinach and arugula, so trust me, I know. Mm, It'll right. get you. It'll get you. Well, remember, guys, if you ever want to send us your cocktails, send them to cocktails at ATL at gmail.com. Send your advice letters to ask cocktails at gmail.com Mina do you want to plug anything because now would be the time to do that I mean you guys can tune in to the Mina B podcast I podcast about two to three times a month I don't have a schedule yet because oh, it's just busy but I try to make sure I give y'all some episodes so you guys can find me on iTunes Spotify Spreaker Google Play as well as SoundCloud and yeah where can they find you on Instagram at Mina Doll M-I-N-A-D-O-L-L Cool. Y'all yeah. already know where to find us. We're at Cocktails Podcast. I'm at Coffee Bean Dean. And I'm at Kiki Says So. Thank you so much, Mina, for coming. Thank you, Thank you guys for listening. And until next week, you guys, goodbye. 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 I'm sorry, but the person you called has a voice mailbox that has not been set up yet. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.
Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.